Hi, I'm Tom Mansfield. This is another one of my videos discussing using the T5 system to accelerate patient flow and improve patient care by increasing efficiency. In this video, I'll be explaining the story of how the forward deployment of resources got started from two sources, one on either side of the country, Dr. Michael Berger in California and Dr. Tom Mayer in Washington, D.C. Forward deployment of resources seems an obvious solution now, but it was an uphill battle to change the status quo in 2001. Emergency physicians were just working away, and little by little, the serial process workflow took over. Dr. Berger identified this as a serial process, where the second step can't start until after the first step has completed, and championed changing it to a parallel process, where multiple processes are started at the same time. Dr. Berger is founder of CEP America. In 1974, he also founded the Postgraduate Institute of Emergency Medicine, which put on three one-week symposia to train physicians in California, Arizona, and New York to staff this new and exploding practice, the emergency room, as there were only two residency programs in emergency medicine back in 1974. In the early days, most emergency rooms were not very busy, so when a patient came in, a nurse took you to the room, and the ER doc saw you promptly. Then five things occurred. Patient found that the ED was a great place to get care, day or night. Number two, staff physicians saw that we, ER docs, were capable. They felt more comfortable letting us treat their patients. And then they realized they didn't have to come into the hospital at all hours of the day and night. Number three, technology advanced and became based at the hospital. STAT labs, including the much-awaited pregnancy test, CAT scans, ultrasounds, and now MRIs and interventional radiology. Number four, this drove more and more patients to the ER. So now, more dignified and legitimized, we changed the name to the emergency department. Number five, hospital committees started nurse triage. The idea was to not have a patient that needed immediate care sit in the waiting room. Dr. Berger noted that by institutionalizing nurse triage, it built in further delay for the patient seeing the physician. Institutionalized processes are very difficult to change, partly by poking fun at them and by his persistence in breaking down the barriers Dr. Berger did change this built-in delay, showed the positive results of the change, and went on to bring this new process of having the patient actually see the doctor sooner to all of CEP America. These initial results have been repeated over and over. Dr. Tom Mayer is from the East Coast in Washington, D.C. He founded Best Practices. Their motto is the science, art, and business of patient care. In about 2004, he presented the results of his use of team triage and treatment and nicknamed it T3. Its philosophy is begin the evaluation and treatment at the point of contact. Using just a hallway and two gurneys, his team started the evaluation and treatment of patients at a large safety net emergency department. He documented the benefits to patient flow, staff and patient satisfaction, and increased hospital and physician revenue. He emphasized three things. Number one, using a team. Therefore, it was called team triage and treatment. When he first started, the doctor made all the orders, but the nurses were upset because there wasn't anyone to complete all of his orders. Involving registration, secretary, nurses, along with the providers, made the T3 system work. 
best practices continues this team approach in their consulting now, but all the emergency department and all of the hospital has been recruited to be on the team to serve their customers. Number two, communication. On each shift, he instituted downloads to assess problems and fix them on the fly. Each week, he instituted blasts to con provide consistency and to promote problem identification. Each emergency department has its own challenges, so frequent communication and tweaking is critical to, to the success of the T3 program. Curiously, we ne now call this daily communication cuddles or huddles, so this has caught on. Number three, using a senior physician. Dr. Mayer felt that the provider in the T3 area should be a senior physician because senior physicians order less lab and imaging studies. After a decade or two of practice, you will immediately recognize that this is not this or this. And he found that 34% of patients were treated and treated, reducing both facility and ancillary charges and costs and it increased the velocity of assets. T3 is part of the more comprehensive mission of best practices, creating the future of emergency medicine, combining the science of clinical excellence with the art of customer service and the business of execution. His website is a good area to stimulate your ideas on improving patient care. He has several videos of his lectures posted that you can watch. Forward deployment of resources has gained traction and become mainstream after a decade. And thanks to these early innovators, Dr. Berger and Dr. Mayer, we are serving our patients better now. Tablet computers have been in development since the early 1990s and early versions available since 2000. T-System recognized the benefits of using a tablet to document patient encounters at the point of care. They took their world-renowned T-sheets and developed an electronic charting system. Tablet computers have finally advanced to be truly useful, first with the iPad and now dozens of others, and a tsunami of others coming in the fall of 2013. The portability of your computer and the concept of touch computing has finally awakened the imagination of millions of users. Adding T-System EV charting on tablet computers likewise is finally making sense to ED providers and making the team triage and treatment easier to set up, faster, and more efficient. It also makes the continuing care by all of the other emergency department physicians faster and easier. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Continue watching the remaining videos for more detailed information. At the bottom of this page, you can watch Dr. Berger and Dr. Mayer's groundbreaking presentations. It shows just the PowerPoint slides without narration, but they are instructional for you to watch to see how this new process of improved patient care started well over a decade ago. Feel free to contact me for any other questions not answered in the Frequently Asked Questions section.